What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ecotech Vectra S1. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vectra S1 and just full disclosure, I have the M1 on the 260 gallon system. To give you a little bit of backstory on what I'm doing with it in this system is I have it completely turned all the way down. To the absolute lowest setting and my line of thought with that is I want to keep as much of the water in the display tank and really what I'm running through my sump is just enough to keep the protein skimmer wet so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the the Vectra S1 actually would work pretty well on my system currently I have the sump just below the display tank and for it to go up four feet for this pump really isn't a whole lot of work Okay, so when you open up your Vector S1, inside the box you're going to have the Vector pump, the driver, a driver bracket so you can mount it on the wall, quick coupling fittings, the power brick, and power cord. There's a couple of different ways that you can install the Vector pump and you can have it submersed in the sump as well as use it as an exterior pump. So there's a couple of different options that you have when you use a Vector pump. Something that you're going to want to hold on to is the registration card. When I first bought an Ecotech product, I threw that away on accident. And what happens when you register your product is you get two free issues of Coral Magazine, which is probably the best magazine out there for a hobbyist. So it's a little added bonus when you register your Ecotech product. Another thing I love about the Vector Pump is the quick couplings, those blue connectors, and it really makes plumbing your aquarium very quick, and it definitely uh, makes life a little bit easier. And like all Ecotech products, they use the quiet drive, which comes with a bracket, which makes it a really clean installation when you have it put together. And here's everything that you should expect when you open up a Vectra S1. You're going to have your return pump, the quiet drive. You're going to have the power brick with cable, the mounting bracket, your user guide, as well as a registration card. Some of the dimensions that you need to be aware of with the S1 is that the total length of it is about 6 inches. It stands about 5.5 inches tall and is 3.5 inches wide. The quick couplings on the input is an inch in diameter as well as the output being 3 quarters of an inch. You can also remove the couplings and just go straight threaded which at that point on the output you're looking at an inch and a quarter and on the input side an inch and a half. If there was anything to gripe about this pump, the only thing that kind of sticks out to me is that the controller unit uh, doesn't have the heat sink like the M1 does and I believe the L1 does. It's more reminiscent of like an MP40 or an MP10. But in the grand scheme of things, the driver doesn't get nearly hot enough for it to need a heat sink. Overall, it just has a better quality feel when it has that heat sink built into the back of it. The Ecotech Vectra S1 can be used for a number of different purposes, ranging from return pump all the way to utility pump. This is a pump that you are going to be able to use for a long time in the hobby. Even if you decide to upgrade your aquarium, you could use it for a salt mixing station or even put it as a closed loop on your next build. So if you were going to be using it as a return pump, something that you need to keep in mind is that you are going to have to calibrate your quiet drive. Calibrating your quiet drive is really easy to do and basically in short what it is is it's going to be tailoring the control of the Vectra S1 to your setup. Some of the features on the Vectra driver are the set button, mode button, option slash power button. So those are your three buttons. You have your control dial which is at the bottom which lights up green if it's on constant mode or different colorations if you have it in a closed loop mode. There's also the W at the top right hand side, which is a wireless indicator. And this allows you to connect to ReefLink, which is a product by Ecotech that allows you to connect all of your Ecotech products and basically control them. You also have the LED strip lighting, which indicates the flow of the Vectra pump. If this return pump would have came out a year ago, I probably would have went with the S1 instead of the M1 and saved myself about $75. So if you're in the market for a return pump, I strongly recommend that you take a look at the Vector line 
and depending on what you are trying to achieve, whether it be the L1, the M1, or the S1, Ecotech Marine has finally rounded out their return pop line. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time right here with a brand new video. Mm -hmm.